How do you differ from David Spring? If elected, David Spring will initiate legislation to create a state-owned bank. This has been a disaster at the national level. It fueled the, the subprime mortgage crisis, and it's not right for the state of Washington. He'll be focusing on an Occupy movement agenda that, quite frankly, may resonate in downtown Seattle, but it's not a good fit for the communities of our fifth le legislative district. Instead, my focus will be on closing the skills gap, smart investments in our education system to make sure that our kids are graduating with the skills they need to take these great jobs that are available at Boeing, at Microsoft, and throughout the legislative district, all of our small businesses. We need to be investing in our children, investing in the long-term vitality of our economy. That should be our focus, not more government takeovers. Chad, what's your main call for public service? It's our kids. Um, I've been married for 23 years. I've lived in the community for 17. And I have two teenage boys. I want the best for them. I want the best for our schools. I want the best for our communities. And there are a million kids in the state of Washington who are relying on us to do the right thing for future generations. You know, my, my experience in the community began with our Kiwanis Club. You know, serving our community in, in so many different ways, focused on our children, focused on our, our individual schools and communities. But I found that as I became more involved as a PTA uh, volunteer, as I got involved with organizations like Stand for Children and League of Education Voters, as I got on the school board, I could have a greater impact. And this, this opportunity is really my calling. It's my opportunity to move down to Olympia and, and do the same great work that we've been doing for the Isqua School District. Our opponents right now are focusing on building bigger government. They're focused on investing in the public sector at the expense of our long-term economic vitality. We need to be investing for our kids for future generations. That means investing in our education, building communities that support long-term fiscal responsibility. We've done it in the Isqua School District. As president of the district, I have a great record with fiscal responsibility. That's what we need to take down to Olympia. Right now, the Supreme Court has placed the legislature under a court order to put our kids first. It shouldn't take a court order to put those priorities first. It's our paramount duty. It's time to get focused. These are serious times that require serious solutions. My name is Chad Magandans, and I ask for your vote.